Um, Corbin, since I've got 15 minutes before uh, I need to, or before we need to start, um, you want to start calling people back, I guess? Uh, I already did that, and actually I asked them to be here. Right, there you go. <laughs> Commander's log. Uh, the 17th of February, 3305. I never seem to remember the year for some reason. So, this stream... Sorry about the the beginning there. Um, but we are... I'm involved in um, the Grand Procession. So this is basically a whole ton... I hope, I hope it's going to be a whole ton of ships. Synchronised flying. Um, doing stunts. In synchron in synchronicity, in sync, whatever, uh, <clears throat> and we're just about to get some instruction. Currently, what's happening is um, we're winging in new uh, new pilots, so we can be all in the same instance. It's starting to get a bit choppy though, so I, it might get a bit I don't know, a bit weird, but. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be talking to you too much, um, but uh, because I'm going to be listening and doing the instructions that they're asking me to do. In fact, you can see them starting to line up now for some reason. So I'm going to go back to um, Discord and listen out for instructions. Whew. I mean, at the moment they can't hear me. Because I need to press the button. I need to push to talk to talk to them. Carl, is there any variation between your Discord name and in game? Yeah, so he's getting a bit choppy there. Uh, my in game name is uh, like my Discord name <clears throat> without a uh, commander in front, um, prefix. I looked, I looked for it, both with and without the period at the middle initial, and I could not find it. Oh, you know, <laughs> I should switch to the game, shouldn't I? Really? There you go. I was too happy seeing my own face. Right. I have uh, Doctor Nagi on my friend list. Okay. Um, Nagi, do you mind winging up Carl real quick so he's actually in the instance with us? He should be here at the moment. Yeah. <clears throat> and that will be the absolute last person we bring in. So one thing, one of the instructions we had was that the bigger... Sh so we're going to have... Right, so Tina, yeah, we might as well just It's going to be narrow. Um, a narrow procession. Uh, with the big ships uh, in the middle. It's brighter than I feared it would get, be. So, huge um, ships, big ships, large ships, I think we'll start and on our small usual at the end, of or medium zero. at the side. So it's kind of looking start like... Start on a, heading zero? Okay. Big uh, ships do you have in the middle, altitude you want? And small ships on the outside. Like you at 12 so you can see, twelve. Bit above. You can see right now that they're um, you've got the larger ships in the centre that are oh, they're breaking up. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that was the plan to have uh, all the ships. And I notice that Scav and Luna, you are moving as well. It's all fine and good. You should fall in behind Tenna. So we'll give him a bit space to manoeuvre. Oh, they should be fine. I'm, I'm literally just going up and spinning. I'm not actually going forward at all. Nope. <laughs> yeah. As, you know, so, as I said, uh, they should give you some space. <laughs> oh, we hit him. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <clears throat> Didn't hurt me none. So, are we lining up, guys? Or... Oh, someone's boosting. Oh, uh, yeah, we have some uh, trainee groups out, out right now. I think oh, yes, yeah, so right. I, I would like to do some training. Where do I do that? Uh, I'm sorry, but you are too late. <laughs> They're coming oh. back right now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, we, we started that at uh, 1800. Oh, I thought we were winging in at 1800. Yeah, winging and warm up. So yeah. this, uh, sort of a main... combined thing that was going on. Don't worry, Adadane. Um As long as you listen to what your column leader is giving you for information, you should be just fine. Yep, 300 meters distance, Scav, that's right. Okay, I am at 12 kilometers, facing zero, level flight. Right, and I'll climb a bit and have a view it down upon it all.
Make sure, Make sure setting up my exterior camera to get a good picture. Real quick, should on local chat in game, should I be on local or system? Uh, it doesn't matter. We, we we won't be using it. I think. Yeah, this okay. is going to be almost almost entirely in vocal. Okay, fair enough. Uh, uh, if you should choose one, uh, choose local. Why not? Uh... Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's where I'm going. Just wanted to know. Thanks. Okay. Right. So, so... I'm set. Scav set. Luna's set. Um. So he just called out these guys' names. Yeah, Luna. So these are the big guys. That was a, a thing at three frames per second. <laughs> Just so, scan, I'm making uh, sure Commander got... NLE, Captain Song, and Logan, I'd like you to descend down to 10 kilometers for now. Oh, Logan, who was Logan over the front? And if you come around to a heading of 180. Once you're down at a height of 10 kilometers. <laughs> it really is it, Jules? Yeah, oh, 11, that's fine, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Was a bit too drastic there. Um, the, uh, the idea is that compared to your current heading, I'd like you to be uh, one or two kilometers further back. So it'd probably be easiest for you to come around to a heading of 180. And fly a few kilometers back. It will be easier for you to uh, line up with the formation then. Okay, got it. <clears throat> Corbin, you are the crate that is not the green one, correct? Uh, yes, I might be. <laughs> I'm <clears throat> out at your left side right now. Yeah. Well, I'm. I'm just in free cam. I'm just trying to get an idea of where everybody is. Just got a number of people. Down and cruising. I thought I scanned Luna's him already. Just turning in spot. <laughs> Cuba Wolf. I see Shokan now. Shokan, are you in the chat? Started my recording. I, to... I hear okay. you. So we're just um, sorting Shokan's ourselves out at the moment. Uh, I've Luna. missed the training. Which is brilliant. Center column. Uh, but the idea is they're going to have all the big ships in the middle. They are so at a height of 12 Federal kilometers. So you want to change your heading uh, further south. Corvette so you want and to a cutter. Steer to the left right now. Then it's going to be a row of um, large ships such as the Anaconda. Um, sure anything else that fits in there. To the left. And then on the outside is going to be the medium ships and small ships. I'm in a crate Mark II, which makes me a medium-sized ship. Oh, frame rate is low. This is going to be so exciting. <laughs> oh, boy. I've got quite a few commanders here. Yeah. I'm expecting some people to crash midway. Through. Not that many, but a lot. I've got limpets. No, if not like I mean game crash. crashing. Right, I'll just oh, go back. Right. I'll go back to the tips and uh, tell them to come back at a height of 11 kilometers. That will give us a bit of wriggle room. See you. I'll keep looking up in case someone's up. I don't think Avaldina's on her way back with her group, which is good. I think Scalius is also on his way back. Oh, that's a drop in. Uh, drop we, in. we are here. Okay. We are back. Wondering who the crate was. How are we forming? Uh, How many uh, could fix the frame star? Um, Corbin's going to go through that once uh, he gets back from letting the other groups know to come up. Awesome. Now, I've seen this. Avelina's asking for one of the training that. courses last yep. weekend, actually. <clears throat> and doing, uh, people returning so from cool. training at 11 will be forming up at 12. They, I mean, it was probably five or seven of them. I believe I'm almost directly behind the main formation now. Confirmed. Yep. And it was, uh, you know, as they were doing the swoops and all the instructions. Just kind and, of floating oh, just in the middle of everything good. with zero.
So really, I'm kind of in the more or less the right position here. Well, I need to be a bit over there a bit more. Let's see if we can see something that's going on. I'm not too sure. Ha! Huh. I note that uh, when I uh, targeted a Guardian fighter, at first I thought I'd targeted an entire group of ships. That's the way it looks like. <laughs> Does the Mark Scaff my turn rate is higher? <laughs> you know, in the little in the little hologram on the left hand side, I thought, what am I looking at here? And then, oh right, okay, I know what it is. Right. So everyone who is uh, back in in the Vince channel, uh, I'd like you, unless you are part of the formation we are building right now. Uh, the central column that is. I'd like you to go down, go down to a height of 10 kilometers. It will make it easier for me to see what we've built and what is still being built. Okay, we've got what looks like a line of re returns coming in. I think that's Abeldina's group. Excellent. They should be coming in at a height of 10 kilometers as well. Uh, I thought you said 11. Oh, I see a rainbow in the distance. Yeah, still. It's fine. Oh, it looks cool. Rainbow. Yeah, they've got a they've got what looks like a really good line going, so that'll be good. Well, let's go, let's go have a look at this. Where's that coming in from? And Scav, I'll do my best to be able to perform a loop. For is that you, it there? Just for you. No, that's one ship. Anyone else having problems yeah. accessing the pass? I'm kind of stuck without any of this now. Oh, look. Or camera mode. Oh, that looks so cool. What'd you say, uh, Nagi? I didn't say anything. Uh, Any okay, who was talking about camera? Uh, me. Scared me. Yeah, okay, I what's cannot up? access any... Like, I am frozen in the dark and I can only move <coughs> my ship now. Mm. Like, panel 1, 2, 3, and... Oh, uh, that depends on where we've bound that button. For me, it's numpad zero. It's, it's not even that, it's like the lag, because I'm like, not, not even looking at it anymore. <laughs> wow, there's a nice line, line that's coming in here. Who just sent me fuel? Are you getting this? Uh, the instructors yeah, pretend? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm getting Wait, some... Wait, did the fuel shots. rat just get fuel from another fuel? No, I'm a whole. Se oh, that's a cool looking line coming below everybody. Oh, there's another line coming. It looks even more colorful. Oh my goodness, these are good. Oh, I could have been part of this that's if I had turned so up early cool. enough. <laughs> so, where's this other line? Alright. No, through the sunset. Oh, wow, Rainbows. that does look nice. Oh, that mass jump is going to look so <clears> awesome. <throat> That will be us in just a minute. Uh, hey, Corbin, question. For yep. the mass jump formation, um, yep. since um, Where's the, others? They're the, right the oh, Scav is standing... the leader of that, how do you want to swap that over since I'm in front of him for the formation? Yeah, we know, uh, we'll come to a complete stop and then we'll rebuild the formation because it will be much wider. So I don't think we can do it in flight. Okay. So what they must be so doing is waiting for that. the big yep. ships to come okay. in. Oh, here's a beluga. That'd be in the middle. Excellent. I'll just uh, go check the voice channel and see if we've got anyone left anywhere. One quick uh, uh, question. Which system are we jumping to? And is it on, is it listed on the, uh, uh, the Frontier forums? It isn't listed anywhere, and we'll find out which system in one hour from now. It depends ah. on... We need to find a star that's close to the horizon. So uh, I'll let you all know in uh, one hour. Corbin. Okay, sure mm. thing. We need to. You need to get all of Wing 7 in here. Okay, Wing 7 is arriving. Scalius, what did you say? 7? How many are wing there? Wing 7. Uh, somebody needs to tell them to move over to the main channel. Yes, yeah. I have told them. We are just coming now. 
Though. Already looks so awesome. cool with all those ships. Are we gonna be doing loops and star jumps and <laughs> star jumps? <laughs> I'm laughing at my own gags. <laughs> and hello everyone who's here. Uh, so what's happening now is that we'll slowly start building this formation out of all you awesome pilots. Uh, formation is being built at a height of 12 kilometers, so until you stay down at a height of 10 or 11 kilometers. Tenna, for now, I'd like you to, uh, and Central Condom, I'd like you to move forward um, uh, uh, one or two Coming kilometers, in. because that will give people um, uh, space to maneuver into in behind you. Okay. Because they're right below, they're right below you right now. Yep, throttling up. Which one was throttling so, up? These guys. Center column ships, please follow tenor forward. That will be you as well, Luna. Where be they gone then? Don't That's go lost. too fast yet, so people yeah. can catch up. I, I literally just them. punched myself up to my max speed and then turned my speed off. Right, because I want you to be stationary now. Right. Yep, I'm stable. Cool. I, at this point, I'd like all what we call very large ships, that would be all uh, Imperial Cutters and all Federal Corvettes. I'd I like know, you Jules, to fall in behind the column that is being built. And, and type, nines. type nines. Yeah, but uh, I'd like to type, uh, type 9 at the rear, so I'd call that out in time. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll shut up. Yay, dead last. <laughs> <laughs> so who's leading this column so I know who to fall in with? Tenna is leading. Tenna, roger that, thank you. Yes. Sorry to interrupt, but what's this event about? <laughs> and the column is <laughs> being built talk. almost at a heading of zero compared to us. Heading is uh, at zero. <laughs> this event is a flight formation and mass jump. Ah, then I would like to join them. I'm at the waypoint. Sorry, we, we, we're close to wing in right now. We, the instance can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Alright, yes. uh, If you'd like to watch it, um, I'm, I, I'm currently live streaming it. Uh, you can just click on my name here in Discord and go to the watch link that has it. Cool. Oh, you can uh, do that, Luna, can I'd you? like you to just to slowly, uh, throttle ahead and fall in behind the ships in front of you. Right, so everyone, when we are building this, we are aiming at a ship separation of 300 meters. Uh, so that's what you always would like to default to, if nothing else is, is told. Just did a flyby. Right. So, uh, on the right side of... Do we have all the large, very large ships? All the Imperial Cutters, all Corvettes. Have you moved into position? Do we have any Cutters or Corvettes who haven't moved into position yet? Please speak up. Oh, I thought quite Bomb a few of is closing in right now. What's that there? Right. Anaconda? Okay, uh, Tromador, I'd like you to take your position at the right side of Tenna. Height is 12 kilometers and heading is zero. <coughs> and Katolius, I'd like you to take your position on the left side of Tenna. Roger that. Oh, roger that. <laughs> that <laughs> That's cool. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's cool. Who's that little thing? It's right. a meteorite, isn't it? And all Meteor. large ships, that would be all our anacondas. Oh, sorry, Captain C Caboose, I forgot you. Wasn't my intention. Uh, please feel free to fall in behind Luna in the center okay. column. Anacondas and belugas, huh? Yes, you want belugas somewhere yeah. else? Yeah, sorry, yeah. So. Anacondas and Belugas prepare to come up and fall in behind. On either side of the center column, there'll be a flight leader. Catolius to the left, Tromador to the right. I'd want you to try to divide evenly among them. So we get two lines on either side <coughs> of the center column of large, very large ships. I don't believe I was assigned to a column uh, just fall in anywhere. 
as we we'll... as we build up things in these columns, Logan, this is the columns you'll be a part of. Yes. Ooh, look at starting. Roger. Logan, what ship are you flying? He's got an anaconda. Right. So uh, this is your call. So feel free to fall in behind the other anacondas as they move into position. Okay. Um. Corbin, who's my who's on my right? Is that Catolius? Catolius uh, on my left. Nope. is on my left. Okay, so that's gonna yep. be Tromador on my right. Yeah. Roger Still there. a cutter there. And Catolius, Tenor, and Tromador, I'd like you to be in a wing together. Okay, I'll go ahead and send those invites. And just Thank the you. three of you, because at, at one point you'll want to invite Adeldina, but not yet. I wonder what that's all about. Okay, Catolius wing invite sent. Tramador wing invite sent. And everyone, once the formation is built, before we start flying, we'll just take a minute or two for everyone to take screenshots <laughs> before everything crashes. <laughs> so, you, so, you'll get, so you'll get a chance to get some nice pictures before we start flying. Okay, I have Tram in wing. They need to be over a bit more, don't they? Right, so it looks it's like... awesome so far. They are really good. Do we have any more anacondas on the way? Yes. So, Logan, please go to the column on the left. So column on the left. Catolius, could you accept wing and bait, please? Yeah, I'm working on that. Confirmed, I am on the left. <laughs> and we've got the <laughs> Luger waiting down there. What's the effect of Victor? Kaluga, please. Where Kaluga, are you guys? I want to join in. Uh, Is that you, Distant Winter? We're, <laughs> we're a, on the uh, well, meeting uh, ritual going on. Do you know what? I don't really know um, where we are. We're on the same Scorpio planet. Scorpio, Joe, world. and Savaris, you are directly right on top of each other. I can't other talk over other ball. people, even though um, they can't hear me. I would say probably. <laughs> we're at waypoint Savar, five of the up. Distant Worlds Joe, 2 down? expedition. Don't roll. Don't roll. Um, yeah, there you go. Oh. Now, I would oh, say, Scorpio, you want to move to the rear of your column slowly. So how is this column coming along? Oh, we have to go sideways yeah, to get everybody in. Lead the one the beluga so the back central up. column or one of the left or right? I'd like the beluga. You know, actually, I'd like the beluga in the center column. Why not? Um, because we got we don't have so many ships there. Then we got two lines exclusively of anacondas. That's going to look cool as well. Yeah. Corbin, I'll uh, drop out. The beluga can get in front of the T9. Tramador, can you verify your heading, please? Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, so, uh, Caboose, can you can you dive a bit, thrust down? My... No problem. Heading is uh, zero degrees exactly. Okay. It just lo so I'm in my external camera looking back off my nose, and your line is slightly tilted in towards the center. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> they're they're moving to adjust now, which is good. Yeah. Yeah. So Beluga on the right side, you'll want to correct to your uh, right. What, can you confirm your altitude, Tanner? Uh, confirming altitude is one one point nine kilometer. And uh, everyone... uh, well, the left column is a bit longer than the others. Can you adjust that as well? Yeah. But, um, just one second. Winter, can you get three hundred <laughs> meters off of Bombinator? The Corvette right in front of you. Tanda, could you re resend that invite, please? Yes, I can. Uh, Corbin, I have somebody asking for um, are you again invite? Uh, he got he got dropped from the innocence. Um, now can you handle that? Who is it? Can you do it in Can you, can you do it in text chat? I, Rubber he's biscuit, can you fall in behind me? Helios, Helios Maximus, I'd like you to uh, stop right there and uh, fall into the right column instead of the left column. And there's a T9 just in front of you, so you'll have to... Precision, isn't that cool? Right. Excellent. <clears throat> Looks like we've got the very large of the large ships lined up now. It's looking great already, people. Very good. All right. So, Eveldina, I'd like you to take your position on the right side of the right column right now. 
and I'll uh, go down and take my position on the left side of uh, Catolius. And which means... And which means that now we'd like to board all uh, medium and small ships. No, actually, Sidewinder, I'd like you at the absolute rear because you'll be very hard to see. So okay. All, okay. So all medium ships... That's me. Prepare to slowly, very slowly, do this nice and easy, people. Don't want any speeding tickets to fall into the column. There'll be a column on the right and a column on the left of all the anacondas. And Sorry. Should pick the left one. That means I won't be able to see very much anymore because I'm taking a position at the head. That's fine. Um, um, there I are don't three know medium who ships. Who it on is? Right. There's medium ships will need like? to. I'll um. From <coughs> what do you need to say? There's there's the uh, center column, the third ship. Um, you just might want to check your gear. We'll get this down. Oh yeah, let's check. Put our gear. It's like a black Corvette. Oh, that's Luna. Okay. Okay, so I have three ships for the medium ships on the right. I see two others coming in behind Corbin, which is good. Or at least one other coming in behind Corbin. Actually, if I may make a suggestion, that might actually be a good idea. Everybody drop their cargo scoops so nobody accidentally boosts. That's um... The, the bigger ships then need to look out for the maximum speed. They might be too slow yeah, with the cargo is, scoop to yes, deploy. Yes, it's, it's, it's not feasible. And it's boring you know? if no one accidentally boosts in the middle of this. Yeah. <laughs> also, you know. Uh, Who's this? <laughs> okay, fair enough. We've been. We've been uh, we've... You first. I'm sorry. Yeah, we've been practicing uh, without the cargo scoop, so I don't think we'll change it now. <laughs> but uh, good suggestion, otherwise. Cargo scoop. Can you uh, I can. Wow, this is. I'm, I'm just taking a screenshot. Sorry. <laughs> but... So, so I so uh, MD. Uh, I'm MD. I'm in the DBX, uh, and I'm two ships behind. Cor no, that's the maximum. Okay, Did someone have a question? Yeah, that was me. Um, I launched a well, I tried to launch a ship launch fighter about ten minutes ago to just to He's take lost a it. look at the formation while it was fighting, but now it's Mike. still making the launching sound, and I can't use any of my tabs, and I'm worried about it just randomly launching while while Why is there... we start flying. Uh, I'm in the exact same situation, but nothing happened yet, so I'm just gonna. Nothing's happening yet. It's still making the noise and it's perfectly. Why is there an Imperial Clipper in my way? An SLF launching directly into another ship. As long as they have shields, it's not going to kill them, so we should be fine. You'll just have to drop out of formation, get yourself situated, and get back in. Okay, I see six medium ships on the far right column, and it looks like five ships lined up on the far left column. Do we have any medium ships who are not yet in formation? We've got 24 signed up, but uh, apparently uh, some of them didn't show. <laughs> I'm at the back, guys. I'm at the back. In sense, with 24 more people. This is looking so cool. Oh my goodness! <laughs> we don't you get, um... I just, I just wish I could back my camera up and if not to get tenor in the shot as well. I wish I could take any screenshots, but this problem with the ship warms fight is stopping me going to screenshot mode as well. We'll share with you. So. Okay, it looks, it looks like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, so I've got seven on the far, far left, and six on the far, far right, I think that's about as even as we're gonna be, I've got right. Nagi uh, way up into my right, <laughs> yeah, that's, move, that's but... my autopilot ship, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, actually, I think I can get the entire column here, I think the autopilot is a little bit better in, in dodging you than I am, so probably I stay in the fighter. <laughs> an angle. All right. Can, I have, can you take a screenshot from your position? Yes, I can. Give me a moment. So people, uh, enjoy your rest. We'll spend a, a minute now to give you a time to take photos. Uh, and thank you. What Scott, about the suggestion. small ship? Oh yes, yeah, sorry. Thank you. Um, where's the room for the sidewinder? 
Uh, is one of the medium ship columns a bit uh, shorter than the other? Uh, no. The far right would be the shorter of the two. Right, Jerry, I'd like you to fall in there. My apologies. Just a heads up, waypoint six is now in the itinerary. Okay. That's cool. Well, we just had the ship incoming, so you might want oh, to... Oh, by the way, do we want to invite Dr. Kai here? What if he crashes the instance? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think Dr. Kai is going to crash the instance. I think we'll be okay for, for just one more ship. I just saw his messaging. Um, he's setting up a live stream to start coordinating a mass jump, so I don't think he's going to be available. Oh, okay. Yes. It's at 17.30. Okay. So, right, I'm so Sidewinder? Quick, um, okay. One quick um, question, <laughs> question. I, if I may. Uh, so I'm the DBX, like, two on the far left column, only two ships out from the, the lead. Do you want me to back up a little bit and shuffle bigger medium ships forward, or do you want me to stay here? I think it's fine. Okay. Yeah, just make sure you are 300 meters from the ship in front of you. I'll try, but he's uh, kind of flipping around right now. <laughs> Not <thinking. laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, just so make sure we have everybody at 300. Yeah, Sidewinder? Yep. Do you, do you copy? Uh, yep. Whenever, okay. whenever, okay, when, whenever I call out any maneuver that involves medium ships, that involves you as well. Hey Corbin, I'm back here in the back, and we've got two crate fan or two crates lined up behind an anaconda. Do we want to split those off to the outer wings? Yes, definitely. We've actually got three, so the the three crates that are in the back. Is that the me? Very, if you are behind an anaconda, oh. you need to move either. Well, I would just the two on the right go ahead and move to the outer right, and the one on the left move to the. There you I go. actually gotta take a screenshot from the underside because of all the different color thrusters. Oh, it's those two, okay. Oh, it's gonna be a total shit show once we start rolling. <laughs> um, if you guys haven't already, just a little bit of quality of life here. If you turn Bloom off, it will save you a couple of FPS once everybody starts rolling. Because Bloom is gonna be brutal with everybody's engines running. It's gonna look good, but oh, that's slow. it's gonna cost you unless you've got a really good system. Thanks for the tip. Corbin, we're all squared away in the back here, bud. Anybody seen Bloom? Very good. Somebody just said uh, he will be getting snacks, uh, so I think we'll have to wait until he's back. Did you shuffle the... Uh, I'm back now, I'm back now. Okay, I went cool. to get snacks. The crates that will move to the outside, um, has the Sidewinder been shuffled into the back of them? Oh yeah, the uh, Sidewinder has to move one ship back. Yeah, I'm sorry Sidewinder, but... Uh, or what is it? You're just really hard to follow. <laughs> Back to game menu. Okay. Hey, on the bright on the bright side, he's gonna get a hell of a show. Uh, your exterior most wings are looking pretty evened up, which is good. Actually, let's do that again. I might right. switch some other stuff. So, off. hello everyone. We'll start rolling now. Um, so, if you're still in an external camera, now is the time to get back into your cockpit. If you are preparing to launch a fighter, we'll just cross our fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, lots of stuff can go wrong with so many people in an instance, but we'll just try it out. And our first, uh, and perhaps the most dangerous maneuver, is that we'll start moving forward. And this is how we'll do it. <laughs> uh, Corbin, real yeah. quick, um, Tramador Catolius, can I get a verification that you can, in fact, rapid select between the two of the other people Roger. in your wing, please? Catolius, can. <laughs> Okay, I've got it on Trom. Catolius, can you verify for me? Thank you. All right, I've got rapid switches between myself, Tromador, and Catolius Corbin. Three flight leaders helped, in actually. formation are good to go Maybe. on front end. Excellent, and I've got Evaldina as well. Okay. Uh, so uh, on my count, we will increase our speed to uh, 50, and that was 50. In And there is no target system because we won't do the mass jump uh, in... Um, in uh, three uh, in 45 minutes so uh... it's very choppy isn't it corbin standing on your standing by on your mark to go yep. to five zero meters per second right so increase your speed to 50 in three two one mark and you want a nice slow acceleration so give everyone a chance to adjust that was a bit of rubber banding. I think rubber biscuits AFK. I'll catch up once. 
Let's catch up with the cutter. He's back. Scavs, watch your speed. Right. Oh, you want three hundred? Five zero, Scavs. Prepare to increase to one hundred on my count. Three, two, one, mark. Five with five hundred behind zero, him. Zero confirmed. All right, Tina, I'd like you to take us into a slow dive and come down to like five kilometers of altitude. Just a slow pitch down. Oh, on your count. Again. Okay, slow pitch down on my count to five point zero kilometers. In three, two, one, mark. That's so cool. Pass minus five. five. Passing minus 10, passing minus 1-5, passing minus 2-0, passing minus 2-5. Please stop at 30. Coming to 30. At minus 3-0. A bit low again. Oh, so much rubber banding. Whatever Dr. Kai is doing today, he's not gonna top this. That's accurate. Right, so everyone, while we slowly descend here, and you get sort of a sense of what it takes to remain in the, in the formation, uh, there are three principles that I'd like you to, uh, yeah, to take to heart, perhaps. Uh, not only are they practical, they'll also make you a more graceful formation flyer. The first principle is that you point your nose where you want to go. Uh, you don't want to use your sideways thrusters on your up and down thrusters. Uh, not only it doesn't it uh, doesn't look very good when seen from uh, outside, it's also really hard to follow for the people behind you. So if you want to make any corrections, point your nose and slowly slide back into position. Uh, the second principle is that you want to be like a rubber band. Uh, you don't want to yeah, make any uh, stark movements. Uh, you want to do anything uh, slow and fluid. If the ship in front of you suddenly appears to stop, uh, as it will do because of the instant sink, uh, don't jam on the emergency brakes or do any sudden maneuvers. Just slow down uh, gently. Uh, you might bump, bump into them. It won't do you any harm. Um, or they might catch up. Um, so in everything you do, Try to do it uh, steady and fluid. So be like a rubber band. That's number two. And uh, the third oh, principle is you will want to announce the unexpected. So if you do anything else than following your flight leader, uh, please tell in voice chat or local chat uh, so we don't uh, run into each other. Right, do we'll I... be leveling out at five kilometers. Leveling out now? Ooh, I'm going to be just a little shy of five. That's okay. No worries. Okay, leveling out. Heading is zero at 4.81 kilometers. This is cool! Alright, we give everyone a chance to uh, come down. Yeah, I'm watching. That was beautiful. <sighs> so nervous, this is... ULTRA! <laughs> right, so the first maneuver we'll attempt here, uh, we'll go straight for the loop. Um, <laughs> full loop. Okay. And with this many ships, Tenna, you don't want to pull too tightly because there'll be no way to uh, steer away from the tail. Yep. Uh, so I don't know, perhaps a height of uh, 1.5 kilometers or a bit more will we'll do, we'll do fine. Okay. So everyone, um, uh, just follow the ship in front of you. Uh, adjust according to... Uh, ah. You'll want to fly in their path. Uh, through the loop, uh, you'll want to keep them in more or less the same position on your windscreen. So steady movements, everyone. Steady turn rate. Yeah, thanks, Gav. 
steady turn rate. You don't want uh, any jerky movements. Yep. Can't get 100. All right, Corbin on my mark, correct? Yes, on your count. Okay. Performing full loop on my count in three, two, one, mark. Oh, don't. Also, don't try to cut short. I can't get 100. Trades. I'm falling behind. Passing 90. Passing zero. Wow, look at all those ships. This looks fantastic. Passing 90. Yeah, definitely sweaty palms, uh, Jules, thanks. Here we go. My goodness. He's falling behind. Leveling out, readjusting to zero. Oh, he's made me go a bit. Oh, it's the um. Beautiful. Gravity, isn't it? Oh, that's so good. <laughs> so, how many died? <laughs> uh, doesn't look like any death. Okay, zero casualties so far. Excellent people. Already, I, I deemed this evening a success. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We nailed we'll it. Sign off. We'll sign off now. Thanks for coming, everybody. Let's wrap it up. It is so Seriously, difficult. Seriously, that, that looked amazing. Yeah. Right. Next thing we'll try is the half loop. And as we come out of the loop, as you've tried doing your, your warm-up exercise, we'll roll around our own individual axis uh, to the left. Okay. Just to remind everyone, you will end up on the opposite side to the side you're on. Yes. <clears throat> So, for okay. instance, I'll just ex just explain before we go up. Because for some, this is very confusing, actually, and very disorienting. Uh, so, right now, I'm in the left column. I have a lot of sheep on ships on my right side. Well, when we are flying inverted, hadn't rolled out, they will all be on my left side. So, just follow the ship in front of you, disregard everything else, and you'll do fine. Your flight needs <laughs> will take care. What if my ship in front of me boosts off into the into the just follow the ship in front of you. If he boosts, you boost. <laughs> Everybody boosts. <laughs> no problem. Just a bit of lag, don't worry. <laughs> Alright. Stand by for half loop on my mark. In three, Natural. two, one, mark. Passing 90. Leveling out. Don't roll into your level. Hello, Sunny. Heading is 180 level flight at 6.15 kilometers. Kind of. Oh, now we're flying into the sun. Oh, that didn't sound good. Someone's hitting somebody else. Give everyone a chance to get out of the half. Yep. He said, "Don't use and lateral." Everybody's done. I was going to try okay. and get uh, some points. Go ahead points. and make sure points. you have your 300 meter spacing, please. And I, Nitro, please resume my position in the uh, column. I don't know who it was that crashed into me. I've got two anacondas on the middle right line. Could you, could you, the other anaconda, could you repeat that? I just fall in behind. Uh, left column side, but closer than the right ones. Rubber biscuit, watch where you're headed, bud. So we'll just take a few, a uh, little time here to reform. 
Viking on the Tromador, area. you are closer to Tenna than Cotalius is. Cotalius is. I can get closer to him. Sideways or. Sideways. Yeah. That's fine. Who is. Right, I'll be ready for to try a loop again. <laughs> love it, love it. Yeah, Dina, I couldn't hear what you said. So save those room if you come towards me, but that looks good now. Side one. How's that? What system we're in? That's better. You can. Alright. We'll try a loop again then. There's our system. Uh, are we doing half loop or full? Full loop, please. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> a couple of anacondas in front of me uh, bumping and grinded, but they seem to have sorted sorted each other out now. Okay. Stand by for full loop on full my loop. mark in three, two, one, mark. Nice fly by there, Nagi. It's very off putting this rubber 90. banding kind of effect. Look at that up there! No way! Passing zero. Passing 90. have to move and leveling out oh, that just cut cool. in the corner I think that gravity though starts to mess you up when you're heading down you kind of move around like this you have to make those loops just a tiny bit bigger tenor yep I can do that I watched this directly from front and that looked really cool. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm a bit behind here, I'll just close up a bit. No, it's okay. So, we'll do the half loop now uh, and come back towards a heading of zero. Okay. So, only a half loop. One That's observation from outside the formation. For those yeah. who uh, may not know, when. Yes, a roll, Scab. Always a roll. When you're doing your loops, aim for the thrusters or slightly behind the thrusters. Don't aim in front of the ship in front of you. Aim slightly behind. Okay, so stand by for half loop on my mark in three, two, one, mark. So we're doing a half left, and we're going to be spinning over to the right, I assume. Leveling out. It looks awesome. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, sorry. Following his thrusters. Uh, yes, I am at three seven point three nine kilometers. We're getting formation, getting a bit close. Gonna throttle off a little fraction. Right, because if we've had so smooth sailing until now, so we'll now try the dreaded vertical formation. And oh, this is how we'll do this. it. I've read this. <laughs> and Tromador, um, uh, Adeldina will uh, be your eyes, so just uh, trust her. You won't have Very to well. find it. So columns, columns to the right of the center column. You will shortly be climbing to 300 meters and level out. And you'll re keep on the same heading. Then Abeldina, you will climb an additional 300 meters. So compared to now, columns on the left, we will be diving, diving 300 meters, and then my column, the column of medium ships, will dive an additional 300 meters. Okay. 
All right. Corbin, just, just as a quick thing, um, once we achieve the formation, uh, respectfully request that we do not turn to our sides, or okay. else I will fall out of the sky. <laughs> also, also when we are in a uh, in a circle. Um, no, the circle should be fine because that's my rear thrusters pointing down. Will he be right, so me? will you, will no, you be able not. to okay. uh, make a horizontal circle to the left? Yes, I should be able to. Cool. Then we won't be... Of course, you'll be rolling uh, to the okay. side and then entering the circle. Will that be okay, Tana? That will be fine by me. Cool. That's, that's how we'll do it. Okay. Right. So, so columns to the right, prepare to do a gentle climb. Outer column a bit more. Columns to the left, we'll do a gentle dive. Outer column a bit more on my count. Three, two, one mark I'm way behind so control is you'll go to seven kilometers height I'll go to 6.7 heading is zero so that should be 7.1 on here now we're going to six right so uh, that's Gone, what I was at. So that's 300. You are okay, diagonal so now. 6.2 we want. And I need to throw it back to zero. 100 again. Confirm your altitude, Tanner. Altitude is 7.38. So I need 6. Okay, points. holding at 7.68. So we're leveling out now. So on my count, yeah, 6.8. There you go, that should be it. On my count, upper columns, upper columns, you will change your heading slightly to the left, and that will you you will have to call out to Tromador when he should return to a heading of zero. Can you do that? Yep. Cool. And I can also control. provide that. Very good. Because then you'll have to guide him. The control as you and I will be sort of adjusting to the right until we are to the center column. I'm already so under the lower center columns column. is already uh, aligned. We are yeah, we're already there. Okay, Tramador, then. mark your speed. Yeah, you're dropping him back behind me. Sorry. Um, I'm getting closer to this guy. I'm Here moving go. across now. You can tell me when I'm catching up and at the right height. Okay, Tramador, you are lined up vertically. Coming to zero. Smidge just a bit more to your right and go ahead and increase speed to catch up. I'm at 110. Okay. I still can't get that 100. Coming to zero. <laughs> this is sweet! I'm at zero. I'm at zero. So it looks like we have achieved a vertical formation. We'll just give people the rest of the line time to fall in. How's my um, positioning? Am I caught up yet? Uh, give me just one moment. Look at the scanner. Look at the scanner, everyone. I see you now. Look at that radar. <laughs> no, that's great. All right, falling back to speed 100. Yep, you look fine where you are. So all flight leaders, please confirm that you are heading zero and speed 100. Commander Tana verifying heading zero, level flight, speed one zero zero, altitude seven point three nine. Tromador confirmed. Okay. okay. We'll now do a circle to the left. Okay. And anaconda we falling out. Okay. We'll continue. Uh, try to fall in behind us at your own speed, but to keep a bit of distance. Um, we will uh, do a circle to the left. A full we circle? Uh, yeah, let's try it. So we okay. want to make it a bit, a bit wide. As yep. we enter the circle, we will roll onto our left side and then into the circle just like you tried during your warm-up practice. So on your count, Tenna. No practice for me. Let's do okay. this. Moving into left-hand circle on my mark in three, two, one, mark. Rolling left. Keep pulling I forward. Got, uh, 
Oh, look at him. Look at him. I'm using vertical thru or horizontal thrusters to keep altitude. Check my altitude, 17. And I'm slowly spiraling down. <laughs> okay, we'll, spir we'll, slowly spir <laughs> we'll, we'll slowly spiral down. Roger. Positioning to spiral with Tanner. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I'm just trying to get back in position with your death spiral. <laughs> See, I'm holding altitude here. It's all he is. In fact, I'm no, gaining yeah, I'm altitude. Right. Okay, Tanner, so take us out on a hitting of zero. <laughs> yep, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, there's an anaconda split across the thing. I'm still with my <laughs> wing, buddy. Okay, we tried it. We tried it. Still with my wing, buddy. It's cool to see you, Ball. Still in my wing, buddy. Okay, I'm on even though I'm zero, being knocked height, around. 5.80. Correction. 5.72 kilometers. <laughs> I'm at zero and I'm at 6.2 descending. 6.1. It's getting one. messy at the back. It's getting yeah. messy at the back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, okay. We'll try slowly reforming the columns. Oh, the Slow down, that's Destroy. interesting. Yeah, yeah sorry, sorry guys, my cell uh, phone and I went flying. Right, prepare to, come to, prepare to come to a speed of 50. On my count, all ships come to a speed of 50 in 3, 2, 1, mark. I'm pulling out of the formation. Uh, out of formation. Where's my buddy? Now, He's Jenna. all the way over there. Please confirm He's in your altitude. Wrong position. Altitude 5.77 kilometers, speed 50, heading 0, level flight. No, he's not, because we're in a vertical. We're in vertical, okay. aren't we? Preparing to come back onto the right side. Yeah, we will try reforming slowly. We'll try reforming the horizontal formation. So I. Kedu's uh, already. I'm already there. I rolled out of the corner wrong, so I don't know if my group followed me or not. But I'm already... Your line did follow you. Well, following you. Tenor, reconfirm altitude, please. Altitude 5.76. 5.76. Yeah, we did lose some height, didn't we? You're following me. Oh, another collision. Going down to altitude. Right, slow down to 50. After after we finish, if anyone needs a bear, I'm gonna get. There it. are there are several standing by seals in the formation. We can provide uh, heels. To uh, heal during the formation. Uh, I probably could. <laughs> Only after the target, and then launch an even up face. Oh, oh, I'm coming up. Sorry, control yourself. Move more. Oh, the hello. Left. This guy will. Yeah, look for damaged targets on your contacts. Altitude uh, is five point seven eight. I fell out of formation. Uh, we're gonna form back in at that. It was worth a try. <laughs> Skywater, standby for repair. <laughs> it's so, so official, isn't it? I love it. Oh, no, I'm out of range. <laughs> I'll give it a go. I can get him I'm right behind him, actually. Alright, that'll work. We want a 300 meters, repair not 250. Skywater. Come on, so how's it working out at go. the back of the line? Are you slowly reforming? Or is it total, total chaos? Uh, no, they're not too so bad. They're looking, they're looking all right. Um, Just the, I think all the rubber banding gets amplified back here. Yeah. Mm. Right. Is it okay to uh, increase our speed to 100 again? Uh, yes, I don't see that. Tenna, you want to check your heading? Yep. I'm at zero. Okay. All right, everyone, prepare to increase speed to 100 on my count. Three, okay. two, one. Going to 100 now. Just to inform you, we got about 15 minutes left. We want to set up a mass jump. Tenor at 100. I can't get 100. Just pretty dark here, just tapping the throttle. A half loop again and come a bit more towards the center. Uh, there's two anacondas at the back, um, inside <laughs> each other. Stormy seas and some house. 
one drop down too below close. that should be fixing itself. Get your high out, right, red that arrows. Would, that would be me. Um, I need to get back. I'll just drop back to the back of the line. Okay. Seas, can you go catch up with the rest of the group? Yeah, I'm going to have to decrease speed. I'm catching up with okay. you. Okay, uh, Caboose is AFK. And he's going to catch up. That's fine. All right. Uh, do we have everybody caught up back there? Almost. <laughs> Let me know when you guys are ready, and I will give the countdown for half loop. One ninja low spot. Oh. Yeah, it happens. Just need a more control over my thruster. Sky Wolf okay. Waiter is uh, we good? Injured. Let's try it. Okay. Commencing half roll in three. Do you mean loop? Two. Ah, good. Thank you. Commencing half loop in three, two, one. Mark. So that's when we fly, end up flying the other way. <clears throat> Passing 90. And when he means 90, he means the... Leveling out? Whatever you would call it. So I'm 45, 50, 55. Now it's 90. Going back to level out. Everyone's turning around. Heading 180, level flight, altitude 7.52 kilometers. <laughs> I wonder if he's. Um... If his uh, proximity sensor's going off. <laughs> Red. I'd like to, us to do that one more time so we gain just a bit more altitude. Okay. Uh, so do you want to do it twice more? That way we're still facing uh, 180. Uh, no, uh, once more. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Stand by for half loop in three, two, one, mark. Passing 90. I guess I can't have both. Uh, <laughs> I want you can. Leveling out. No, you can. I, we I, just have to do another half loop after this. No. Yeah. Uh, we need to be facing north for the next maneuvers. <laughs> so. Ah. Oh, very well. Altitude 8.66. Level flight. But I guess with Naki taking footage from in front of us, this was just Think a come. All right, we will prepare there. to form into three columns now. We will do this by having the outer columns, the medium ships, reduce their speed. Then we'll fall in behind each hour line of anacondas. So, Eveldina and your column, and my column to the far left, prepare to reduce your speed to 60 on my count. So, medium ships in the outer columns, reduce your speed to 60 in 3, 2, 1, mark. Oh. Come back! And, uh... and coming up next now will be a three direction split. If I can catch up with him uh, just a little bit. I think one cross loop and we don't have very much time left. Uh, we'll need to do both, I think. It will work. Does anyone here have a problem with us uh, going uh, 10 minutes uh, uh, over time? No, I'd rather do all these spectacular maneuvers and have tons of cool footage that makes us look magnificent. What he Doesn't said. Be. <laughs> Oh yeah, right, when, when, when Dr. Kai is jumping before us, the servers might already have crashed when we want to jump, we have to take that right. into consideration. 
Union oh. ships on the left will resume full speed, perhaps even a bit more, as we catch up to the ships in front of us. It might not even be a such a bad plan to stagger the mass jumps at that rate. Depends how big Dr. Kai's jump is. No, let's melt the sir. Oh. Oh. Oh, I am. Why did you have to say that? Oh, yes, they hang up. Yes, we're too soon. Just, yep. I it will recover. Oh, oh, oh things are gone. Give it a second. Give it a second. <coughs> Give it a second. Don't touch your throttle. And everyone is gone. I'm alone. Nope. Just stay on where you're at. Let it yes, go. Just let it go. Let it set. Just a second. Let it play. Let it play. <laughs> But I'm alone in the instance now. I have Ooh, about four people here with, in my instance still. Come in Leslie, buddy. Oh, okay. Yeah, everyone's yeah. gonna come back. All right. All right. Completely out formation, though. No doubt, but yeah, we had this uh, yesterday. Oh, instance. Okay. Yep, I've got uh, things back too. Okay, so I now have several invisible ships. Um, I think Scav is one of them, because <laughs> he he has yep. no sight on anybody. Uh, I'm not. Just look at that comment. All right. Oh. Yeah, I see the gap in front of Luna. <laughs> yes. And I'm back. Scav is uh, invisible. Can I poop him? People are popping back in again. Yeah, I've lost the FDL that was in front. No, of I me. can't boot, uh, boop him. <laughs> I think we're going to be using that extra time to reform the formation. Yeah. I'm drifting. I'd still rather complete the maneuvers that we want to do than worry too much about them. Yeah, I'm not fussed about time. Uh, I don't know if anyone else is, but like, just whatever time. However long it takes, honestly. <clears throat> I'm having a little bit of an issue. Uh, mm. <laughs> Scavs is coming back into formation, that's good. So who have we got watching Here anyway? Um, I can talk over these guys, they can't hear me, I've got to press my push my to talk button. Back too. And I've been completely okay. ignoring you and just laughing at what you guys have been putting in the in the chat. Uh, especially you Jules, lines, thanks yeah. very much lines. Commander um, yes. for your comments. Oh, what's going on here? A rogue ship is... Oh yeah, confirm visuals on Scav. Uh, just want to know who is checking it out? Yeah, if you're... Uh, I'm here. If you're totally in off this tenor. formation yes, yourself, then uh, let us okay, know later if you, you can't are the do it now. Invisible ship in that gap that I can see between Catullius and number three in that line. I'm getting a bit too close. Let's pull back. I can't actually um, see what formation. If you go to free camp, right can you now. see any of the ships behind you? I think I'm last, Sorry, aren't I? Catch up. Well, let me check. There's something behind me. Uh, look behind me, I've got a scanner What's in front of me. What's the flight speed right now? Flight speed what? at the moment is one zero zero. Oh, we could, we could go to a full stop and not let people uh, catch up. Um, I'm only seeing about eight ships on my radar. Yes. We got a large number on mine, but I'm also seeing NPCs. I think I'm... Uh, yeah, me too. Is there a range of your sensors? Okay, yeah, the, the NPCs are, yeah, as Evelina says, sensor range. Okay, so, whoever is second behind Catolius, whoever is behind Catolius, if you can see other people in your line, please make adjustment so that the person behind you and you swap spots. One of you will dive, one of you will come above. Uh, whoever dives will slow down, whoever comes up, up will... Or whoever's in front will slow down, whoever's behind that will speed up. You'll swap spots. Oh, I see, yeah. That will give you someone who I'm can right see behind. Catolius. That way you can follow in line. All right. Um, I will dive. Macron here. I will dive. Okay. Whoever is number three, please. If you are... Okay, so Macron's number three. You're diving. Number two, please uh, rise and slow down. That way he can take your spot. And then you'll literally just take in the spot that he had. Look, Ma, no hands. Uh, himself. Okay, I, th I think I'm second spot now. So we should... Okay. Good. Okay, so how are we looking, people? Are we more? Are we falling back? We look like we're good. Um, 
Control uh, the back slides, and please maintain your 300 meter catching up. Hey, Scott, how you doing? <clears throat> Altitude check, please. Altitude check is 8.46. You just missed the bit where everything went a bit pear-shaped. The, uh... A bit of lag, huge lag, and chips decided to spin off everywhere and disappear and whatever, so... Not pilot fault, but it was, um, uh, How does it look from back there? Galaxy fault, let's put it on that if I'm keeping my role-playing head on. 8.46? I'm um, drifting down for some reason, coming back up still, to 8.46. We're just trying to get back into gaps. formation. Not much. Well, how have I increased speed? Confirm right. 8.46 for height. Okay. That's a big white rubber band right there. Yeah, big rubber banding. Okay. We'll try to continue, see how this plays out. This guy here is supposed to be in front of Perhaps us. There'll be an event in the future, who knows? But for now, we'll try making the three direction splits. So, uh, Katodia is prepared to come uh, about to uh, 270, and Tromodo are prepared to turn right to 90. No, turn right 90 degrees. Yeah. So, on my count, we will split in three directions. Three, two, one. Just from this mark. Guy. I missed the instruction. So now we're completely in the wrong... Well, this guy in front of me is in the wrong place. I'm gonna stay at the point where you split it. So I get uh, to good see idea. the action when you come back. Yeah. I can't actually see what's going on. He's... We're taking a right... Left turn, rather. Get me... Get me left and me right, me the right way around. And it's supposed to be Control like that. Altitude. I'm at uh, 8.55, descending to 8.4. Roger. Right. And I'll follow his thrusters rather than the front Center of the Center column, we are going to be raising altitude to 8.75 to accommodate flying through loops. Stand by on my mark for center column. Got Three, speed. Two, one, raising. Okay, Cotodius, I'm at 8.4. Cotodius, I'm at 4. What's your separation? Cotodius and Tromadon, what's your separation right now? We are at 16 kilometers. Right, okay, everyone, so what we'll do now is that all three columns will do a half loop and we'll be flying on a collision course back towards each, each other. Except the center column will be a bit higher. Center and column Katolius leveling out at 8.77 kilometers. And Catolius and Tramador will make small adjustments so we don't make a head on collisions. And when we meet, the two opposing columns will do a loop and the big ships will fly through it and it's gonna look awesome. And all you have to do is follow your flight leader. Right, so all three columns prepare to do a half loop up on my count. Three, two, What's he doing out there? Oh wait, get back in! Center column, please state your altitude after the loop. Will do. Center lead, passing 90. Skywater, back off a little. I don't see you. Tromador level Ooh. at... Just slow down a bit. Center column leveled out. 9.5. Look at them go. There you go. I don't really see you, so it problem. No, I can increase. Okay. Center column descending to 10.0 kilometers in three. Why am two, I losing one, speed so quickly? Kilometers. He's accelerated, that's what it was. I might be able to accelerate a little bit. See if I can catch up. I don't know if the red arrows would do that. The red right, arrows would not be in this situation. Uh, we are going to be meeting at 9.5. Head is at 9.49. 
14 kilometers. Oh, completely, I turned too soon. Center column leveling out 10.0 kilometers. Point zero column. Oh, Ten kilometers this, this separation. Then. Right. Okay. Center column adjusting course two one nine zero. Wait, is there a cutter under me? Carbon, there's a there's a imperial curb a cutter just uh, under me. We should. I'm uh, behind. Th that's probably Doctor Nine. Center Six. column adjusting course two one eight three. Chomodos column coming right very slightly. Center column reduce speed two six correction seven five. Three kilometers. Three, two one. side columns prepare reduce for speed. two one loop in. Three not, not, not two, yet, not yet. one loop. Yep. Where's the center column? Oh, 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 that timing. Oh, right, okay. Not too sure if we've got that. Gentlemen, your timing hmm. is wonderful. Oh, I see. Coming right I'm to avoid the earliest. by someone. Someone's just run straight over me. Looks like it hard. Stormy Seas, you are a rubber banding motherfucker. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> There's a curve. Oh, stay focused, stay focused. Coming to level. I'm doing fine though. I'm not worried. Just one. Just, just one. Keep comms clear. Just one loop, yes? Yes. Yes, one loop. He's. Yeah, he's. Mm. Okay, well, let's just follow his thrusters. Chometer at 279.5 kilometers. Follow, uh, follow his thrusters. Center column adjusting course to 180. Okay, they're coming up to 9.5. And then a cut are dropping out of the sky. Why are we too. Oh, I'm a bit disoriented now. Okay, Tromador Catolius, um, I am at 75 meters per second, altitude 10.1 kilometers, level flight at 180 heading. All right, Abeldina, we are up now. We will move our columns to the left and forward, so we bring up our column alongside the others. Would you we like us to down. slow down? Nope. I don't twist like that. Gotcha. Corbin, just to verify, this is the double-double? It's the double-double. Okay. The double-double? It's important for all you Canadians. Dina, when we loop, you will need to uh, spiral right to yeah. avoid. Uh, Tell you what, I got solo well, wind at the moment. You'll need to spiral right to avoid me. Spiral right, <laughs> right to avoid hitting. So Tony's. nervous in there. <laughs> Both Abeldeen and I will stay slightly behind uh, the flight leaders, which will be you, Tromador and Cacholius. Roger. So we'll have visual on you, and you'll be taking the lead. We'll just follow. Falling behind. Center column re-establishing not one zero point zero altitude. Twenty-five kilometers separation. Right, and I don't think I can see you, Catolius, so I'll just follow Scalaeus. Commodore, what's your heading? Two seven zero. Center speed check. Speed check is seven five. Thank you. I've just been yep. drifting up, I'm coming back down to nine point five. Scalias, can have it. Scalias, do you have visual on Catolius? Yes, and we're flying at 90 degrees. Uh, heading 90 degrees, 9.48 kilometers. Corbin, yeah. when, we, when we do a half loop, it's going to switch us around between... Avaldina will move from my right to my left. I'm currently on your left, so that I'll be on your right after. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's planned. Where is Everything's everybody? planned. Trust the planning. Okay, okay. okay. I... I Obviously, we heard something somewhere. Loop. We'll prepare. Do the half loop on my count. In three, two, one, mark. All columns do the half loop. Yeah. 
Center column, oh, passing 90. He's accelerating. And leveling. Center column leveling. Okay, leveling. 37 oh. kilometers. And we'll descend Catolius back down to 9.5. Center column descending to 10.0. We're not in formation. Sorry. It's very difficult to uh, just need to follow the thrusters. Guys, Look at the thrusters, aim as here. if you're get a bit more shooting at them. Okay, let's uh, keep it at 10. Okay, leveling out at 10.5 kilometers. Center column. You're supposed to turn when you're at this angle here. Okay, right? I'm uh, slowly at 90 driving. degrees, and I'm doing 103. I prefer following the other guy in the clipper. Okay, there's 271 degrees, 10.3 height, altitude, and 100. Apparently, I'm drifting down. I'm pulling up again to come back to 10. It could be a still can't get that 100. Oh! No, can't get a hundred. Twenty-one kilometers. Uh, is Commander Town P here? Yeah, I'm here. Can you see me? I'm an FDL uh, behind Corbin. No, can't get a hundred. No, yeah, I'm behind Corbin. Yeah, the yeah, two of them uh, are actually I... colliding a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I've been behind Corbin. <laughs> the loops coming up, people. Yeah. Loops coming up, people. Try to settle it somehow. I'm going down and slowing down. 15 kilometers. Okay, we've got a bit of space. If one of you can fall to the back. Pull them back. Excellent, thank you. 13. How about track speed? How fast are you? 103. I still don't see you, sorry. I didn't know you were there. I need to yeah, be right no behind problem, this guy. No Take comms clear, please. Wondering. Nine. <laughs> well, since Seven anybody can buy an Imperial zero zero Clipper, two. Seven. as long as you've got the right rank, of course. Tromador's column coming right very slightly. You can be in the Federation all your life, all your years, and then... Five. What are we doing? What is he turning like that for? No, don't! Three. Two. Prepare for loop. On my mark. Three. Two. One. Loop. He does, he accelerates. Oh, I so want to get that shot. Continue looping or straight ahead? Straight ahead. Let's not fall out of, otherwise I'll get hit. I'm at 90 degrees, 10 kilometers high, speed 103. 270, 9.66 altitude, speed 100. Center column adjusting course two zero zero zero. No fatalities. Nope, we're good. How what was that, Nagi? That buffering though. It looked weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't care how it looked. We just performed the double double loop. I don't think that's ever been done before. <laughs> the, that the, the was double, good. double loop with the threaded. 
Not just a double double loop, but a threaded double double loop. Plus, is definitely not on this game. Right. Mm, I'm considering uh, cutting off a few maneuvers here because time is running actually. So I think we should perhaps just uh, come about and set up the mass jump. What okay. Yeah. It, it will still take some time to set up, so... Uh, okay, very well. Um, I, I, I will redock my ship and look for a target system. Uh, yes, please do. Can so, someone... Corbin, Can I'm someone. gonna bring the center column to zero. Actually, uh, Corbin, our column right now is pointing towards uh, Bones to QV-W A82-4. Yeah. It's right on the horizon. Yeah, um, we need to uh, to gather people. Okay, uh, th here's what we're gonna do. Sorry for interrupting you. Um, um, Tenna, I'd like you to bring your uh, column about in a half loop, so you'll be flying south. Okay. Center column, stand by for half loop. In on my mark. In three. Two, one, one mark. One seventy, one seventy. Right. Where's he going? All of us will be. The rest of us will be doing a half loop in a little bit. We'll center give center passing ninety. We'll give the center column a bit of a head start. Oh, point of interest. Uh, okay, Corbin. Uh, Catholius has gotten quite far. So, uh, Catholius, can you fall back a little bit? Center car column oh, leveling out. Fall back from a hundred points, uh, man. I'll tell you when you're within 300 meters. I'm not quite understanding. I'm I'm trying to run in 100. Like I'm saying my column is not keeping up. I see two uh, icons uh, gliding on the left of Corbin. If I, I guess we, we can, oh, we can move the whole row forward. So I'm gonna speed it. Yes, yes. It's, it's it's you who needs to keep up skating. Yes. Okay, Corbin, I am at altitude 115. Currently traveling 75 meters to second, uh, per second Sorry. at 180, ready to give Scab the lead. So what? I wonder, uh, oh, two okay. commanders. Okay. I'm trying to question Water something, and it's and not going to happen. Uh, not the map again. Also. It's so far ahead now. I don't see. Okay, That's other level. Yeah. Skywire, just back up a bit. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so Catrolius and Tramador, uh, prepare to come into the half loop. Evelyn and I will follow you. In three, two, one, mark. Why did he stop? I guess you could just ask me that. Why have I just stopped? Where was he going? Level rolling. Um. Confused about where I'm supposed to be. 270 degrees, 11.3 kilometers, maintaining speed 103. Ninety degrees, 100 kilometers, 11.1 .1 altitude. And I am 20 kilometers from tenor end closing. Right, so. Tramador, I'll want you to target Tenna, and Catolius the same. I want you to target Tenna, and take us into a slow curve. And be careful because you will have some ships on the outer sides who will be turning with you. So, Abeldina, you will need to take. Uh, be careful because you'll be on the sort of the inside of that turn. And you'll want to. Uh, you'll want to meet up at Tenna. So, Tenna, if you can reduce your speed slightly, or even come to a full stop. I. Center column coming to a full stop. I don't even know what column I'm in Please now. Don't. Do not stop. Keep going. Oh, you're not ahead of them yet. Just keep going, Tanner. Slow okay. down if you like, but do not stop. Uh, center column speed is 75. That's altitude. lovely. Uh, altitude is 11.5. This the guy I was following. So let's see where he's. Catalius, I'm going to begin my turn in three, two, one, mark. Kato is turning. I don't know what column I'm in now. Oh, yeah, panic! Because I'm flying in the blind here, because I'm not winged with you. Ah, uh, it's out. Like I'm going to increase my speed to 120. Kato is increasing speed to 120. 
He's this guy's turned too soon. I think he's turned over too soon. I don't know who we're following. I'll just follow him. Commodore, can you read me heading? I'm at 2.33, 2.30, 2.30. Tenor, do you want to slow it down a little bit, please? Yes, I can. Give me just one moment. Coming up to 135 speed. Okay, Todd, it's increasing speed to 135. Center column, reduce speed to 60 in 3, Hello. 2, 1, reduce speed. Evaldina, we're slowly continuing a very. I see the uh, front of the we're, we're curving to the left just very slowly. <clears throat> I'm trying to. 20. Not too sure what's going on. Yes, maybe just take it nice and easy. Uh, you might want to reduce your speeds. Kateri is reducing speed to 100. 100 in my column. Because we'll be rebuilding the formation, so we'll come to a full stop. Oh, there's the, there's the other guys uh, in front of us. When, when we are together. At my zero <laughs> marker. Looks good, guys. When the uh, formation is rebuilt, can you win me, uh, um, please? Reducing speed to seven five. I'm going down a bit. Seven five. Okay, is reducing. Right. So one ninety nine. Like, looks like we've met up, everyone. Well, how so do they coordinate I'd that? Like the center column to start reducing speed and eventually come to a full stop. Other okay. flight leaders, I'd leave it to to your discretion to bring your columns to a halt. Center column coming to full stop on my mark in three, two, one, mark. Tromador's column come down to speed 60. I'm going to speed 50, five, zero. 50. Center column should be at full stop. And come to 40. Yeah, but you need to just watch on the gear 60. And a full stop. Same with Corbin, I'm coming slowly to a full stop. Okay, they're coming to 25. And I think I'm in Corbin's Okay, I'm column. just going to maneuver into a closer position to Tanner now, guys. And we'll shuffle Where up. Where's he going? He's... <laughs> Couple shifts went straight up to the center column, I like it. <laughs> Right, so Scav, you will be one to point towards the destination. Okay, Confirm altitude, stop. please, Tenor. Altitude is 11.5. One, one for the purposes of the mass jump, Scav has asked that I operate as vocals for commands. Uh, so he will be in front of me, but um, I will be giving his vocals. Roger that. Uh, Scav, if you want to go ahead and Hello, go full up, stop. up above and around me, that would work just fine. Tromador is in position on Tenor's uh, port stern. Okay. Scav is taking lead. Done. Sorry, wrong button. <laughs> We're doing the mass jump now. Yes, just one second, guys. I'll get back to you there. Okay, okay. Corbin, I'm, I'm dropping out. I can't access the map. I can't plot anywhere, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop out of the formation. Okay. Uh, Scav has lined himself up. I'm lining up. Um, it's it's behind I think Scav. the fourth the fourth closest system in your nav panel. You can select it from that. No, none of the panels or the map is working. Nothing is working. Well, okay. that one. The fourth one. This would be the. the... Three anacondas dropped. Tony, what are you doing? No. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's right in front of us. Can I confirm that's Victor Kilo Lima Bravo 41-24? That is correct. Thank you. Exciting. Uh, should everyone plot to that system? Yes. Of the sun. Okay, maintaining Which 300 meters from Scav. Uh, it is in local chat. It is also in, in events text channel. Just 
Where are you going now? Right, so I can see Nagi. I cannot see Scav, I think, but I can see you, Tenna. Okay, I am 300 meters off Scav's back. Scav is in front. Okay. Oh, I can't pot anyway because I'm on a shit launch fighter. <laughs> also, 2 FPS, so I'm just gonna try and watch. Okay. Um. Did we want to do the three deep columns across this, or now, Corbin? Uh, just give me one sec. Who's yeah, so to? what we want to do here... Um, I'd like... Uh, oh, it's, it's really hard for me because I can't see Scap. What I'd wanted is that I'd like uh, the large ships in three columns in the center. Okay. So if I could get uh, from behind Luna, if I could get um, one... See how many how many large ships do I have back oh, there? Behind Four? Luna? Oh no, it's Lake. Like, uh, Lagan. Five. Lagan. Okay. If I could get three of Logan. you to. Uh, all right. So, if you are not in the center column, please move slightly outward from the center column, be it left or right. That way, we have some room to maneuver this. Scavs, just so you know, I am currently in free cam, so I cannot see the chat um, while I try and organize this real quick. Okay, and if I could get um, three ships from behind Luna, so ships four, five, and six in center column to come up, and on the left of the center column, the front ship of those three should line up about even with me uh, wing to wing. Ow! Ow, 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 Ooh. ow! Stop it! It's tenor. So Haru Peru is... Tramador, if you would move slightly out to the side, please. We're doing the, the very large ship. We're splitting those. Yeah, I've just first. been shoved all over the place by people coming through without looking. Yeah, I, I saw it. Uh, where would you want... Where did well, you want me? Uh, if you could just slide out to the um, out, outside line just real quick while we bring the people in the center line up forward real quick. Okay. Whoa. Um, ship 5 and the Beluga. Beluga. So the Beluga and the ship in front of the Beluga in the center line. If you come up and to the left, behind the second left, Corvette, right, rather than Corvette just to my left scanner. and forward. Alright, so just take it nice and slow now, people. We'll be rebuilding this. I'll move out of the way here. I don't know if you have seen the, the the notes on this, but we'll try building sort of a, a big, a big wing. wing. Okay. Beluga, if you will come to your left and forward, please. You're coming up second in line behind the Corvette beside uh, Scav to his left. Gotcha. And the Corvette who is in front of the Beluga, if you would fall in behind that Beluga for me, please. So there's the Beluga right in the middle there, still Thank thrusting forward. Okay, and then the last three in the center column, so that looks like the Type 9 and two cutters, if you would do the same thing, but on the right-hand side of the center column, that would be good. Oh. So you come over to starboard side, and you will line up a quarter. <clears throat> what do you think I should do, guys? Uh, be in the Don't column... In Engage your hyperdrives yet. Keep, or, keep coming up, keep coming up, keep coming up. Or should I stay back and record it? Clipper, keep going. I'm voting for staying back and recording it. Okay, stop. That's good. Uh, yeah, you're good. Okay. Caboose, if you want to get just a little, get in 300 meters on him. And the cutter or clipper that is still deep in the back on the center line, uh, white vessel, See ya. please come up behind Caboose at 300 meters. It's Beast NP. Okay, Beast, thank you. So that that guy there, that ship He'll there, be must be giving the orders around, I think, because he's looking down through his cockpit window. Okay. I'm guessing. Now, for everybody else, uh, we're going to do the Anacondas next. So the other large ships, you're going to do similar things, so either left or right, columns of three, 
and you will be on the exterior sides of this. It should be like two, eh, about two extra columns on either side. So if you would mind lining yourselves up, please. And once the anacondas are in, we will get to the uh, medium and small ships to do the same. Yeah, and thank you for taking over, Tenna, because uh, there are ships I cannot see, so it's really hard. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so we've got one column to either side so far, so go ahead and start <laughs> making new columns, please. I missed that instruction, I was reading the thing. Are we moving? <laughs> Watch your spacing, guys. Please try not to bump each other too much. I don't think we're moving. I think that was the other anacondas. Okay, um... We've got five in the column behind Tromador. If we could get two of those to move slightly further out to the left. And make a new column to the left of Tromador, please. What's going on over there? Positioning. Uh, describe your ship. <laughs> Tromador. Uh, Trom, you're fine. Uh, the guy behind you looks fine. There's some contestation. It looks like behind him. So you're third. The third person in your lines. I think they might not be able to see each other. On the right side, Stormy sees us. To the Anaconda. Say again. On the right. Side stormy seas has fallen the fourth in the first. Column. Okay, stormy seas. If you would please move to your right and form a new column. I believe there's a white anaconda also in that area. Please Logan. fall in there. Logan that, would be, that would be me. Okay, and then Tromador has two anacondas behind him with another two behind that. If those two in the far back would make a second column to the left of Tromador, please. Got one with yellow. Oh, there's three back there. Even better. Got somebody uh, in local saying there's a drunk furred firing weapons. I'm not uh, sure yeah, if that's so serious. Bad. Kit Ostland, you have to move over to the left uh, side. Of the furred is far enough away, is not an issue. Just thought I'd mention it. There you go. Okay. There we go. That good. is going to be. The left hand two columns out right hand is looking two columns out okay so that is all the anacondas if I could get medium ships in the range of pythons and crates and asps to do the same thing please make columns three deep to the left of the two columns of anacondas on either side and it looks like we're going to need a little bit more people uh, a few more people on the right side than the uh, maybe they might even out I don't know what the numbers are on the, get the, on the left have to move forwards and shift themselves so that they're pointing more to the so wait for somebody else I don't think there is anybody else uh yeah Tromador if you would raise altitude just a bit and angle your nose to your right your heading should be 176 roger I just have to say, this looks amazing, and the last time I saw a fleet, lo fleet like this was in Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> okay. So, crates on, the, crates on the far right. Yep. Uh, there's a line of four. There's a white anaconda, an anaconda, a crate, and then another anaconda. Um, that crate number three in that line, if you would move forward, up, and to your right... I can't see where he... Okay, I saw somebody with blue thrusters doing that. There we go. There's the guy who I was talking about. Yes. If you would please take lead on the column to the right of that line of anacondas. That way they are not a four light. Four deep. Okay. This guy. So that looks good. On the right, how are we doing? Okay. I have the bright lime green crate. Looks like he's got one guy behind him. Uh, there appears to be a crate with purple thrusters and dark 
uh, hull coloration, if you would move to the left but to follow into the third of that line, please. Because you are currently behind three anacondas. This guy is doing the... Uh... Yeah, uh, where should I be going? I'm the for the lance on the right. Um, you'll be in with one of these... Co shield. Um, if you want to either... So very, I can't get a good angle from over here, uh, but make sure that those uh, crate lines have uh, lines of three. If one does not, fall yep. in behind one of them um, until there is three, and if there's three, make a new column, please. I can't start on the move back to like where the laser beam is. Yeah, there's uh, three columns of three. Okay. Uh... So, uh, sorry to interrupt you, but I uh, I managed to get my game to work again. Uh, I'm an anaconda coming up to the formation just below you. Can uh, I join? Okay, um, I'm actually going to come out of formation just so I can get a better sight on this. Uh, Scav, I will be returning to formation. Don't worry about me. I just want to make sure I can actually get a good view of this. So that big hole in the center, please don't worry about it. I'll be coming back. Yeah, it's kind of lopsided. So who's this guy then? Should I be uh, 300 meters away from the guy on my left? Um, left to right should not, shouldn't matter too much. We're looking reasonably tight right now, which is good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> And thanks again, everyone, for taking part in this. Sorry we went a bit uh, over time. No, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Corbin. I'm enjoying this. this and is, uh, everybody okay. else. This is a good uh, Absolutely. This is an experience, I tell you. Ferdilands, if you would come forward and in front of the crate to your left, please. That'll be the lead on that line. Um, yeah, come a little bit more forward, Ferdilands. Try and line you up a little bit better with the front line of the formation. He's going to move me to the front because there's uh, three. Who's had the anaconda? They said they were coming in with uh, me, Scalios. Okay, Scalios, um, whereabouts right are you? Right behind the uh, center line. Okay. Um, trying to see what might work here. Uh, okay, so on the right hand side there is a line of two crates with a DBX. Um, that DBX, if I could move you out to the far edge on the right, please, as a new column, and then the two crates in that line. Uh, so first crate line on the right. Um, if you would move back slightly so that the anaconda can take the lead on that line. How's here for the DBX? Um, DBX, please come forward. You're going to be just behind and to the right of the fertile lands. Perfect. So this is Catolius moving back here. Is this what you meant? Uh, yes. Catolius, if you would back up to the second row, please. You'll be you'll have a, a dark anaconda to your left. Right, and then Scalios, DBX, you are fine. Uh, and then Scalios, if you would go up and over the formation to come up beside the or below the formation to uh, get beside the white anaconda on the front line. Oh, Maybe. I see. Right. Um, Catolius, if you could back up just a little bit more. Wait, what do you mean? Okay, so Scalius, you're going to go... There's a crate directly above you. That's where I want you to be. And Catolius, if you would back up to fill the spot behind him. Okay, Scalius, come forward and up a little bit. Did Kato go back far enough or not? Yep. Yeah, you should be fine. And go ahead and form your 300 meter line up there. That's the left still going. Okay. Uh, all right. So I still have a crate with purple thrusters. It's just sort of idling behind the lines of anacondas. If I could get you to move in with one of the lines of the crates, please. Or in the line of crates or the asp line, either or. And then just like I had on the right hand side with the DBX being on the exterior, if that DBX and the ASP with it, uh, no the ASP should be fine but if that DBX would go and form its own column all the way out on the wing please I 
Are there any free wing slots so I can try and reload? Uh, I'm sure we've got a few. Uh, name? Scorpio Joe. Uh, Beluga, if you would angle your heading slightly to the left, please. Oh, bollocks, I can't accept wing invites. Okay, uh, you, Beluga, you are good to go. You're going to have to go back to main menu. Yeah, but then once I load the thing, when I'll be out the instance. Not necessarily. Mm, probably would be, but we can try to get you back in. Okay, so I know I've got a couple... I know, Do Nagi, you're out doing pictures and stuff in your fighter. Um, there's a couple other ships just sort of idling up here outside the formation, if you guys wouldn't mind. Well, that's uh, one of them is me. Just trying okay. to reload. Right, should we try to... um, should we try doing this then? Do you think we are ready? Do, have you set Senna? I'm in a good uh, position the actually. The formation looks like decent enough. Where are we heading again to? Uh the Um It's in Discord and local chat. It is, um, yes. What is it, one point eight seven light years away? Yeah, one point eight seven yeah. light years away. It ends it's the in fourth the fourth system listed. <laughs> Bravo four one dash two four. So I can at least watch it. It's with yellow dot the buffer star. Who's streaming? And can you post a link in Discord? Um, I am streaming the. I will give you the link here in just a moment. Okay. Uh, do 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 do. Gonna drop the link here on the formation. Okay, yes. link is on the Formation Flight Group channel right. for my stream. Cool. So, Tenna, while you take uh, re, uh, retake your position, I'll just uh, briefly explain what we're going to do. You might Can know I already. Just butt in before you do, Corbin. Yeah. Um, one thing that may sometimes cause people lag is if their uh, chat windows are not all caught up. So, if you have tabbed chat windows while Corbin's giving a briefing, it might. Uh, do you a favor to make sure you've cleared any backlog of any chat windows that you've got. I get a wing invite so I can re-instance. Thanks, Corbin. Who was that? Wow. Uh, Scorpio, Scorpio Joe is looking for a re-instance. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get him. Okay. Right. Corbin, I am retaking my position. Luna, please be advised you may need to adjust. I shouldn't uh, need you to, but Right, so what we'll be doing is that we will be um, uh, speeding up um, uh, on this heading. It looks like we are on 176, is that correct? That is correct, yes. And uh, just like before, when we formed the first formation, we'll just uh, get, a, get a hang of it, see if we can uh, remain stable in formation. Then we'll do a loop, see if that oh works my out. <laughs> And uh, actually, um, no, uh, sorry, I'll take it from the top, sorry. Um, uh, we'll start flying, uh, go to speed of 100, um, then we will spool our frame shift drives. So we are ready to the hyper jump. Of course, we won't jump because we're not going fast enough, but we're going at a speed of 100. Uh, then we'll do a loop. As we come out of that loop, each of you will align towards the star and go full speed and make the jump. So we won't all be jumping at the same time. The lead ship will be jumping first. But simply do the loop as you, you would usually do. And as you exit the loop, go full throttle and you're off to, to the waypoint 6. Any questions? Yeah, um, it's uh, Kato. Can you please confirm again? I know you say it's in all chats everywhere. I can't keep up with that. Could you just confirm verbally the place? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna read it out. How Bravo, am I? Oscar, Echo, Whiskey, November, Sierra, Tango, Space, Victor, Kilo, Tac Lima, Space, Bravo four one Tac two four. Distance is one point eight seven light years. Thank you very much. Scavskiller requests that everyone take any photos now. Dot. It's the orange dot above the system star. 
It's you have pictures of light take. years. Yes. Uh, we have a commander incoming. We have a commander incoming. Eighty kilometers. That's me. Please take any pictures that you are going to take now. Naki, are you ready with the camera? All right. Uh, I will move in front of you. So we can just camera better. <clears throat> While I'm you're in waiting free for camera mode. Very okay. Good. So did we have a single commander inbound? Yeah, that's me. Um he's a condor. Where he at? He's sixty kilometers in front. Right, while while we wait for the last commander to join us, uh, I think we should give a round of applause to our flight leaders and our wing in coordinators and uh, everyone who's been that. helping out with this. So thank you so much uh, for helping uh, me set this up. Uh, wouldn't have been possible without you. So yay, round of cheers. Hello, yay. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Woo! Well done, guys. Thanks a lot. It's been brilliant. Back at you, Corbin. Yeah, yeah I was just. Thank me after the jump. <laughs> <laughs> Dude always plans for the worst, man. Jules, the servers yeah. aren't going to crash. For, thanks so sending up, we might crash. the whole thing up. Yeah. This yeah. Sending, up a little bit of, sending up a little bit of chaff for it. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> He's sending up the chaff. And with nice. this jump, we will enter stage two of the Simulates 2. Woohoo! Gatolius, what are you doing? Put no idea down. how I'm going to so what's the film this. The last if we're doing a loop the loop, or maybe I should just hang back what over there. Okay. Alright. Uh, this is Commander Tana. I'm going to take a quick uh, trip to the head. I will be right back in about a minute and a half. <laughs> Just as a uh, random piece of information on the subject, the average mammal takes about 21 seconds to empty its bladder. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely Be that a pygmy shrew, an elephant, or a human? Obviously, the uh, writer of that entry has never uh, seen a whale take a dump. I didn't say take a dump, I said empty their bladder. Changing the subject ever so slightly, if I was going to film... It's to do with the, uh, the pressure of, and size oh. of the bladder and fluid dynamics. <laughs> yeah. Right, so let's change that subject, yeah? Okay, yes. uh, the back. Again? I thought it was a fascinating fact. Just a movie jumping to again? B-O-E-W-N-S-T space oh. V-K tech L space B four one tack two four. If I was to film the jump, where would you recommend I put my ship? Because you're going to be all moving and in different, jumping at different times. At the end of a loop, I can't imagine where we'll be to actually film that. Just try try to place your camera in the center of the loop. Okay. Nagi, will you be in front Try of us? Try not to get in the axe that's just floating. Okay, I can see a ship inbound now. Oh, rip, one of the ships oh, just... just... Yeah. How many of us are there? Right, so just so I get it right, Tenna, will you be calling out commands on behalf of SCAF, or should I be doing that? Um, I can call them out. Please do. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Tenna's louder, thanks. No idea. <laughs> I'll just follow, then. Very nice. nice. Oh, so I'm just one thing. I game. want to confirm the initial mm. heading. Is it going to be 177 or so? 176. 176. What does that make our reverse heading for the top of the loop? Uh, 356. 
Yeah. Wow. He's cool. already worked that out. <clears throat> okay, so I don't think I'm going to be able to film and this. I'm sorry, 354. Oops. Roger. How do I math? No, 356 should be right. Yeah. You're only going to be off by four from the heading. That's right. Hmm. So, yeah. uh, Corbin, Lu Scav, I can confirm behind you that that is where I'm at. Scalius, please say again. Luna dropped out and is gonna be joining us now. Okay. We're gonna be jumping at 9 o'clock at this rate, actually, isn't it, aren't we? Alright. That looks uh, weird. Tromador, Catolius, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop out of the wing. Roger. So if I follow them, I think when they start turning, I'm just going to pull off. So Scav, the best thing about this is I'm behind you now, which means that your guns can't shoot me, so I can fly anywhere I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I should have he said that he's going to turn around. <clears throat> nah, he's got him on gimbals. They could absolutely point and point around and turn to me. It would be, it'd be very easy for him to shoot at my ship. Someone over there as well. Who's that? Is that are the guy who's doing the video? Um, I think... Are we still waiting on Luna? Yep, just give her like five, three minutes. It's done. Okay. Um, I hear honks. Make sure that you guys have all of your hard points stowed before you try to make the jump, otherwise you won't make the jump because you can't charge your frame shift drive with hard points out. Okay, so I'm not part Actually, of the Actually, should we just start uh, chatting our... Um, if, if, if it's D now? Are we doing a loop? I mean, yeah. so we're, we're, we'll be moving at 100, so you'll never launch off of your frame yeah. shift drive then. Well, this won't cause heat problems for anyone. I think um, I saw Luna's drop in. Yeah, I don't think it'll cause any problems, he was. If, if we're not going too fast on a 0.3G world, we should be okay. Yeah, this is a good one. one. I see green engine trails! Hi, oh, Luna! <laughs> might not be a bad idea to put full pips into engines just in case somehow going to 100 does set your set your FSD off if you're a slower. Yeah, you'll you'll want four pips to engines. Yes. Now we're gonna live with all the beeping while we wait. Okay, Tanner, can you confirm that we're gonna be charging? Uh, Corbin, is that the game? Actually, I'm gonna want. To yes, we're they, charging. If okay, and I think we're that, ready right, to begin so moving out. Uh, Tenna, what we call no, uh, Luna can fall in behind us, I think. Right, Luna? Uh, yep. Waiting for ships to get in. Someone's just jumped. Okay. Look, someone what? decided to leave. Um. Bye, Logan. No, Logan Dark Okay. Okay. Leroy. I was trying. Busted a bit too fast, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to talk to somebody and hit the tab and ah oh, fuck. Excuse me, I will be right back. <laughs> I know, Jules, I know. I think they need to move out now. We, we can't keep... It's the uh, people uh, leaving and coming yeah. back, that's the thing. It's gonna continue like this. Yeah. yeah. Okay, if someone would please fill in the spot that he had. Sorry, Logan. Never mind. That's just so embarrassing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, rip the, the frame okay. Don't worry about it, but of course, someone just streamed it and everybody saw it. Well, this is a particular lineup because you've got yeah, the big ones in the middle, up. only three up, three deep down. to the front. To All the right, back. please take us out. And then. Go, go and, uh, okay, you know, smaller so, ships. On the count of my mark, everyone begin charging FSDs in three, two, one, mark. It's gonna be a moment because of uh, some mass lock everybody's gonna have. Shouldn't I mass lock for highway? Yeah. Oh, you're right. I'm I'm dumb. <laughs> now, when we start moving, you'll want to throttle up really slow yes. because you don't want to hit that sweet spot where you actually start <clears throat> jumping. 
I'll see if I can keep yeah, up with them. It's around 75% throttle. Okay. On my mark, formation will increase speed to one zero zero. In three, two, one, mark. I'm going with them, I'm going with them. On my mark, formation will perform one whole loop in three, two, one, mark. Oh, you are actually circling around my fighter. Kind of. Oh, he's going way off. Oh. Lead ships of formation, when you level out and are aimed at destination, you may proceed to full throttle. Jumping. 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 This is Commander Tenna. I am in jump. Have a good flight, gentlemen. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Woo! Thank you Thank very you much, guys. Corbin. And that successful. jump was. And the fleet arrives. That jump was all caught on stream, and it will be in my archive. <laughs> uh, I'll be posting it to YouTube. As well in the next few days. Me too. Yeah, it's all streamed. Will be posted on the Distant Radio YouTube channel in the coming week. Hey, look at all these commanders in system with me. I wonder who they are. <laughs> Guys, if you I'm being interdicted, help! Guys and girls, if you've got uh, if you've got pictures, if you've got links to stream, please throw them into the forum for it. Yeah, we'll do it. Mine, mine will take a few days until uh, I've got them uploaded all. That's guys. I think that's a very unique moment that you've just been part of in uh, Elite. I can't see that happening again for a very long time. <laughs> also, for ones who haven't read that yet, on Wednesday there's gonna be a special event. Oh, let me pull it up again. Official Duff Enigma Anniversary Meetup at the Duff Enigma Megaship in Colonia. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Wednesday, Thanks, Jules. February 20th at 2000 in game time. And finally, this... This Commander Scalios, if any of you want to write anything about about this event, uh, I, you can send me... You can send me... For the newsletter, you can send me anything you have. Okay. I'll be oh, highlighting so pretty much the whole all of my stream on this, and I'll be posting it in the forum link for you guys. Okay, just doing some I'm scanning. I'm in my fighter bay, but <laughs> camera doesn't transition to a main cockpit. <laughs> oh dear! I was having fun wake shift scanning all those lovely juicy wake shifts. Me uh, too. And the fucking <laughs> instance crashed. Oh. <laughs> there were so many that. I'm going to be basically relearning uh, where my boost key is because I have now remapped it so it's not on that fucking tab! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, right. oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. That, that ah, is going. never going to happen again. We should do I've, a loop in Super Cruise. I've going. got a nice screenshot of my fighter uh, inside. Oh, they're all gone. Now. They're all gone. Hey, what, scan four maybe? Well, guys, that was extremely. By the way, I blame Stormy Seas for that because he was the one who direct messaged me, and I was trying to respond to him. <laughs> Rip. Come, come you can't I blame somebody else. Responsibility for your own safety. I'm half. Jo I'm joking with that. I'm joking <laughs> with that actually. So why does it say that all of my SFV base are empty? That doesn't make sense. Uh. 
Because your uh, vehicle module is disabled. No. Right, well, um... Then... Where shall we go next? So that was quite interesting. I was... Um, I was... Ugh, I was... In the moment there. That was just awesome. Hopefully... Hopefully, they're going to be doing another one. At the next waypoint, let's just check out where it, where the next waypoint is. A second, so let's just. Uh... Let's just talk myself out here a second. And uh, we are going to now just check out this one. And uh, do do do. Just checking out the next waypoint. So if I do uh,
Adam, check the chat. Uh, one moment, just moving windows around and stuff. Uh, it's gonna, no sound on stream. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it got a bit oddly quiet. Check the chat. Okay. Can you hear me now, though, guys? Can you hear? We didn't hear a single word while you were tabbed out. Oh! Right, I gotcha. So when I go to my right screen... <laughs> I'm talking as I'm... So as I go to my right screen, some if it looks like my mic's not been... It's not activated. <clears throat> right, well... Uh... I don't think you miss much. I think you can see the screen. You can see where we were going. Um, any questions? So I need to sort that. Was that always been like that? I've, been, I've had that set up for a while, a long while. Anyway, I'll not bother going to that uh, again then. So this is the next place we're going to go to. Uh, that's it there. So it's three point six. Really? Wow, well, that is. That is the. Uh, that is. My goodness. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was quite funny watching the unex the explained movements of the cursor, though. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you, you filled in the gaps yourself with uh, some imagination or something. Fastest routes. Okay. Right. So that's sorted out. Let's just see how far that is. 65 jumps. Uh, and, of course, I was... I think that was the time when I was saying, uh, if, Scott, if you're online, if you're around, if, uh, if, you, if you want to... Uh, give us a give us a call if you want to um, join me here. I don't know what I'm doing just yet. I th what I was doing before all this, I was going around. The, there was there are loads of stars in this nebula which have not been uh, s uh, scanned yet. So that's all I was doing, and I was just doing a few just to get me uh, just exploring really. Uh, I don't. It doesn't look like you're on in the game, in the galaxy. Ah, oh, come on. So I imagine everyone's now heading over in that direction. So maybe we should. Maybe we should just try and uh, do that. I wonder how far that other place is away though. Let me just check the map again. It's at the other place which was Fenea. And that was supposed to be some sort of what was it again? It says blue uh blue planetary nebula with a neutron star and a ringed water world. So we've it's not new to us. We've been there before. This is the one without the screenshot. So maybe we go there. I've got the, uh, the destination in the clipboard. So let's just see how how far away. I wish you could switch off squadron chat. Let's just check how far this is. Well, again, that's 3,000 odd light years. Lots of, um, what are the blue ones? Well, lots of A and zero O class stars around here. Well, that is probably because we get into the center. Look at them all!
So that's where we're heading. Someone's there already. Who is this? Oh, okay, don't go there then. Wow, okay, so I know this guy. He's uh, he's normally in Discord. Alright, so let's just head over there. And, uh, well, the first um, the first part of that. There's somebody in front of me. He's just sitting there. So we'll do that, um, but first of all, I need to take a quick break. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna use my uh, be right back, and uh, I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. We'll do a little bit of this and uh, we'll end the stream. I'm all tangled up now though. So let's see what, what is out there. Or not rather. There we go. <laughs> Why, what's happened? Half points? Oh, hello. Right, we're off. 61 kilometers up. We've been thrusting ever since. 
I'll bet my ship that there's someone from DW2 roster that's at Beagle Point already. There is actually. Uh, he comes and joins us on um, in the the chat, in the Discord chat, and um, I'm just trying to remember his name. Zafia, Z Xavier, Xavier. British guy. Right, there we go. Oh, I'm all set up now. And um, Fuel scooping. I think he's in an anaconda. He's just headed out there. Actually, I think he's a repair guy. A, a, a hull seal, they call them. Somebody who will repair your hull for you. Fuel scooping complete. What is a few stars here, is it? Let's just check out this system. Anything interesting? No one's been here before. I can't start to aim for the uh, high metal content planets just to see if there's anything in here that might be terraformable. So we'll do a few of these. Oh, it's 35 planets. I'm not going to do the whole lot. There's someone in here, I think there might be. No. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's just move on. No. Nope. What am I doing? Uh let's just take a look at some of those high metal content planets. Well, I think they're going to be a bit too far and they're landable so they're not going to be they are not going to be terraformable so we are off um, as we leave the nebula behind Four, three, two, one, engage. <clears throat> I thought Beagle Point was, and I don't know why I thought this. Well, I'll tell you what I think I thought actually. I don't know what gave me that. The, th the thought is what I should say. I, I thought Beagle Point was. The exact place, exact opposite of where Soul is, but on the other side of the galaxy. Um, but it's not. Oh, where's your? There you are. All right, that was a bit slow, wasn't it? Oh, seven planets. Well, we can just scan these. I thought there was more here. That one? No. That one. Oh, just behind the... Uh Oh. Fuel scooping complete. Even without atmosphere, they still can be terraformable. Really? No. Well, that one wasn't the one I just looked at. I didn't realise that. Where's the other one? System scan complete. 
So, what have we got here? Oh, hello. Oh. No, I th really? I no. no, that's the first I've heard. I thought it had to be uh, have, a, have an atmosphere. Give this a poke. That was amazing. You know what? I, I'm gonna have to watch my own stream <laughs> just to relive that that moment over the course of a few hours ago. That was really good. I thought it was cool when I was watching them. The, at the last waypoint it was only a small group like a training session and I turned up late and I think I was just watching we had to register and I didn't register and I didn't know whether or not I'd be able to make it if I did register which is why I didn't register ah oh, I don't know I've got a pattern with what I do now, and I've done it wrong already. You would. Nobody said start the music. Alright. Enable repeat. Enable shuffle. Um, what's the next one? Surface scan complete. Uh, play. All origins? No. Play music. I'll do. Oh. Play all variants. That'll be the one. Okay, so let's be on our merry way. Nice border there of stars. Just one look, fifty six jumps. Four, three, two, one, engage. I know those loops. I've been at the back, and when you see them climbing like that, it was really, really impressive. I didn't think, I didn't think we'd actually uh, have a good vantage point if you're in the in the line as in the conga line. Why wow, getting quite a lot of planets uh, systems with lots of planets? That's like what the third one. Uh, oh, hello. Fuel's oh, what are you? Complete. Hello. We'll take a look at you first. You're all gonna be around this guy, aren't you? Although it might be a bit too far for me to go and say hello to in person. <clears throat> well, that's quite nice, isn't it? With the border. All right. So what we got? There's another planet out here. Another gas giant. What I mean is what I mean. Now let's take a look for that's got to be asteroid cluster, yeah. This chap here, Metal Rich, we'll take a look at him or her. It doesn't actually say it, whether or not you can land on these planets, does it? Oh. 
you just got to work it out by seeing the words no atmosphere, I suppose. Oh, that's the asteroids. Anything around here? You don't think so. Oh, again, I did the same mistake as I did in the last system. So icy bodies, do you want to check these out? I don't really want to scan them all, 30 odd. Not, not today. In fact, that'll do. <clears throat> check what that looks like. Yeah, there's our water world. Quite far away. So Jules, where are you there? Are you in the... Um, uh, I ask you because you were asking earlier where what system we're in. Well, I think it was you. Somebody was asking. Is anybody here on, on the DW2 expedition? Oh, hold on. Jules, you are coming along, right? You're um, you're Falcon, aren't you? So you're heading over in... Uh, if I remember... Am I right or am I right? Is that something down there? No. Fuel scooping complete. Mm. Oh, it's got an atmosphere. There's one meters number behind the star, so let's. Bouncy Stickman. There's a few new uh, viewers in my stream this week. People I've not noticed before. I'm underway to Colonia right now. F from where, where was your where was your start point, oh, Bouncy? Going to attend the Dove Enigma reunion. Oh, that's what the guy was talking about earlier, right? I kind of missed that bit, what he, what he was referring to. He was talking about the... The... the, the, the um... Oh, that's a nice... All right, so you still with us? <laughs> just had this message saying OBS has just been disconnected. Right, okay. Apparently you're still with us. These two places here, oh, they're some distance apart, so it's not worth going to check those out. They're some distance apart as well. Nothing is terraformable. Oh, okay. So you've you're on um, Four, three, right. Two, so you you're on the DW two then. <clears throat> you're on distance well. So you you you're starting out there and you're heading up in that direction, to the west. <laughs> from a soul perspective, you're going about like ten o'clock. From a soul's perspective, you're going about ten o'clock towards Colonia. Was that four thousand, five thousand light years? If I remember the description. Fuel scooping complete. And are you intending to come back after the event and head to uh, to waypoint? Is that six? It's waypoint six? No, it's five. Why 
what am I thinking? I might seem to be thinking that we're waypoint more than we are. I don't know why. We've got here 23 planets and uh, start off with our high metal contents. That one actually, no. Any more? There's one just there. Okay. Oh, we got two, we got three. Why is the volume just increased? That was weird. Just taking a slight detour, yeah. Have you been to Colonia before? Thanks, Jules. All the very best. Thanks for coming along. Oh, what? Uh, coming along? Alright, let's switch. So we want to check out these three planets here. Switch to the Ori. Uh, on. which one was it? One, two, and three. One. Oh yeah, they're together, aren't they? One, two, and three. So let's uh, let's select these guys first. <clears throat> of course, we're going the wrong direction. Oh, he's been three times. Okay. I've only been there once. Right at the very beginning. Once while participating in the Dove Enigma expedition. Right. You know, there's a neutron, a neutron field just below. I say just below, about 300 light years below, and back towards Sol um, at Colonia. It's probably been picked clean for the yeah, for the uh, tagging and whatever by now. But um, yeah, it's just quickly show you actually now oh, there's Colonia just down there You want to do a bit more exploring? Check out this area here. No, it's not a neutron highway. It's a neutron field. Like lots of, in other words, lots of stars, which are, um, which are neutron stars. Loads of them. It's not a neutron highway. Just uh, a place where we can get lots of Wonga. Right, I'm going to 
to try something here. I'm going to fly in between these. They might be a bit too far away from each other. Yeah, they're going to be a bit too far. Oh, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see if I can bag both of these. So we are going to go around the back first. And then... Corner there and a corner there. And while they're doing that, we're gonna select this one. Oh, it's a bit too far. I can zoom in though, can't I? Ah, it's too far. Boom. Four impact. Have I missed? Surface scan complete. No, wrong button. There we go. Right, we're gonna go behind. I would like to get this on the joystick. Uh joystick, the mouse. And one on top. So by the time the front one hits, the others should hit. That's my idea. Done. Surface scan complete. Alright, let's select the other one now. These two are done, it's now this one. So if each one of those, in fact, let me just check that out. I've got a uh, 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 an image I can find it. Here we go. I've got an image of what is worth what. Let me just find the stars we just selected. For instance, that water world is probably worth 3 million credits. Because. I've used my FSS, my FD. For, oh, sorry, I was the first to discover it. Um, I've used my FSS on it. And now I'm going to probe it. So it could be worth 3 million this. Uh, and because it's terraformable, it make, if it wasn't terraformable, it would be only a million. But because I'm. It's terraformable, and I'm the first to discover it. As long as I get back before anybody else, if I had it in before anybody else um, discovers it. So, uh, high melt content, high melt content again. High melt content. They could be worth two million each. Shame he doesn't tell you when you um, in your nav panel or something. Above, get behind it. <coughs> Do a little one on the corner. Oops! If I had it on the mouse, I'd be able to uh, on there. And then this one's the least important one at the top because if the planet is small enough, I find I'd be able to get in with the first five. But it doesn't really first four. It doesn't really matter. 
Bingo. So that last one coming in, boom. So it doesn't matter how many probes you fire at it, it's how many you that land before you get 100%. Okay, so depending on what's here, this could be our last destination for this evening. Okay, so there's nothing straight away that we can see. Feels all behind this thing here. So let's move out the way of the star, or get it out of the way of our view, rather. Go for these guys first. <coughs> oh, there's quite a few of them here. Except for that one. Is there more here? It looks like there is. So, uh, if cat food's still watching, can rocky planets and ice worlds be terraformable? I don't believe so, right? They've got to be on the right temperature and. I mean, I've played the game for so long, I should know these things. Alright, so that's going to be it, I think. So, uh, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Let me get back to this. Um... I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Uh, I think it's probably one of my. It's up there with my, you know, my favourite streams. Um, hopefully they're going to do it again. I'm sure they will, and uh, I'll be streaming that too. Most likely. So, thanks again for watching. I've got a video coming out of the, my journey from waypoint four to waypoint five. I'm sure we're heading to waypoint six. You know. <laughs> uh, Just check. Come on, come on. Let's just check my bookmarks. Yeah, so we're heading to waypoint six. Yes, of course. I'm losing it. Uh, yeah. So, hope you have a, a good evening, and uh, I'll see you through in a week. Oh, thanks, bouncy stick man. Excellent stuff. And we'll see you definitely next Sunday. Um, but I also I'm gonna also be streaming throughout the uh, during the week as well. Um, Wednesday or Thursday, something like that, depending on how far I get in the uh, at where I am here. Adios, and be safe in that 
vast, velty black. Bye-bye now.